Good day, gentlemen and ladies. Something really bad happened. Yes, I did it again. My God, I broke my front bumper. I tell you what happened. Stick around. All right, folks, so I'm gonna make a close view. You can see here, everything is just shattered, completely shattered. What happened is, uh, what happened is I had a big, large piece of wood that uh, a front van carrying a forklift dropped on and it was just in front of me as I was turning on the light and that piece of wood dropped. So I was, I was clearing left and right because on the light you always clear left and right even if it's a green and I didn't see it and I hit it. I was uh, going to shift on, on second gear. So it went basically under here and it, it stuck to my wheel it, it broke everything around here the uh i'm just gonna the good news is is uh after i back up to remove that piece of wood then a piece i take that piece of wood put it on the safe fridge because it was left in the middle of the highway so it was a a little secondary road from the base going to a major highway i remove it so it was safe for everyone and then I was thinking about it and enjoying myself taking that piece of wood in the middle, but anyhow, because the traffic was still going left and right, I guess the adrenaline was kicking because uh, that piece of wood was not uh, light. It was an uh, eight by eight inches by, uh, oh, let's say three feet long piece of wood. So it was, uh, I can tell you, it was hard wood, very heavy. So I put it, put it on the side, and uh, and after that. That took uh, less than 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Then uh, I floor it and get the uh, the van. I managed to communicate with him. Hey, I need to talk to you. <laughs> the guy was very kind. He gave me the uh, give me his uh, the phone number of his boss. He take the pictures. And uh, yes, I've got my dogs. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, what I've done is I, uh, I come in, I agree with me, yes, the front bumper need to replace also the uh, inside wheel well uh, fender. And, uh, and that was it. Then uh, later on during the evening, the, uh, the owner contact me and he said, you know, uh, I'm not gonna do that on the insurance. I'm gonna pay uh, someone to do that for you. Then I mentioned to him, I said, you know what? I just changed that last summer myself. I said, what? He said, yeah. So he, uh, he basically told me, he said, listen, I'm going to pay everything it takes to change your bumper if you do it yourself. And I give you 500 bucks, Canadian bucks, and uh, to uh, Canadian pesos, loonies, to, uh, yeah, on, to pay for your time. So uh, I agree with that. So what I'm going to do is just uh, send in an email. The, it's official. This I need to change my uh, the two piece. He's gonna pay for that because the uh, he he's already have an open uh, account where that I bought the, uh, the the fender, the front bumper uh, uh, last summer. Then I'm just gonna give him the the two receipt that I pay for. Uh, I will need for all the, the resin, the fiberglass, the two uh, spray pan can. Uh, I, oh, and the silicone, yeah. So uh, that would be it. So I would become a front bumper expert on my Toyota <laughs> 2013 <laughs> changing. So uh, yeah, uh, kind of deceive, I didn't expect. But however, the good news is, you remember that piece of plywood it it stay there. Uh, now it shatter right there, but it's, it did also shatter right in there. You see the big crack, but everything in there stay there. So uh, yeah. <laughs> so that would be my short evening video. It's a uh, four minute, almost five minutes. So uh, yes, preventing, be safe. I rather checking left and right. If I had to do it again. Uh, I mean, it happened so fast. I mean, the van was turning. I was right behind. Maybe a little bit too close, but I was. It it fell down probably when I was looking left and right, and then uh, yeah, probably take. Well, I was looking in front. I was going there, but I didn't notice it dropped it. So and it was brown on dirt, uh, and yesterday it was cloudy too. So.
yeah so yeah <laughs> so please do take care of yourself thank you again for the outstanding support on my uh, small channel <laughs> and uh, yes oh well <laughs> I won't do it now I will wait until summer when things are getting better and definitely improve my uh, fiberglass resin on the front uh, fender you remember when I, I, I completely blocked up the air that was good so uh, yeah all right <laughs> cheers